easy go for every attack. What do we do? We fight back. shutting down. They've ramped up raw log exports. Since the BC Liberals have come to power, uh, over 25 million cubic meters of raw logs have been exported. Meanwhile, almost 50 mills have been shut down, many of them lacking a guaranteed log supply. So at this point now, 75% of the original productive old growth forests of Vancouver Island have been cut down, including 90% of the valley bottoms where the biggest trees grow. Uh, they've cut down the biggest and best trees already. The industry was historically built on logging the low flat terrain and the big trees and the lower slopes and valley bottoms. Now they've run out and they're blaming the environmentalists for the problems that they've caused themselves. A transition into logging second growth forests is inevitable as the last of the uh, unprotected old growth forests are cut down. We're simply saying that that full transition has got to be pushed along by the BC government uh, through legislated timelines so that we still have old growth forests left by the time that transition is made, not after. So who here, who here is fed up with the BC Liberals' backwards 1950s-style forest policies? And who here is determined to keep expanding this movement until it hits a fevered pitch only six months before a BC election? forest industry that we can be proud of, we can be proud of the environmental work that we do, and we can all live on this island, and that's the way it needs to be, and this government needs to get that message, and quite frankly, I don't think they've got it, and we probably need to boot them out, and put somebody in here that's going to put the people and the young people of this province first, so thanks a lot, everybody. As First Nations people, the forests are cathedral. There are places where we go for our spirituality, for our culture, and we are fighting to retain the old growth in our territory. BC's slogan is the best place on earth. And it's the best place on earth because there's ancient forests. So protect ancient forests! Protect ancient forests! We're a part of it. We have to find our role. And we have to tap into our creative capacities as human animals. We're not just consumers. We're creators. We at Tlaoquid, we understand that the forests that we have today are an inheritance from our past ancestors. And we understand that the inheritance that we've received comes with a responsibility. 
We have a responsibility to manage and steward these forests, not just in the best interests of people here today, but in the best interests of our future ancestors. This is democracy at work. This is what it's about! The obligation of this government is to listen, not to turn a deaf ear. The obligation of this government is to do exactly what Eli said and start making decisions, not for the corporate boardrooms of today, but for the future generations who deserve better than what they're getting right now. As we stand on the threshold of a fundamental change in our society, where they, we are fighting the wrong fight, Wall Street melts down, and we're going to bail them out. Why? Because people have bought this nonsense argument that Wall Street creates wealth. It does not. True wealth, true wealth comes from the earth. and clean air and healthy ecosystems and old growth force. That's true wealth. And how on earth, how on earth we can find trillions of dollars to bail out corporations and CEOs who have made bad decisions for decades, bail out banks, that have robbed us blind for decades. We can do that in a heartbeat, but we cannot put a bailout package together for the earth. What is wrong with us? Globally, of all types of forests, our forest is the best carbon storage of the planet. It stores up to 1,000 tons of carbon per hectare, and it continues to sequester carbon. Logging old growth releases up to 50% of this carbon storage and avoided logging of old growth is one of the best short-term actions that we can take to reduce our emissions in the short term. Canada is amongst the richest countries of the world and we have to be a leader in protecting the world's remaining ancient forests. <laughs> These are issues of security to every single one of us, and it doesn't belong in a decision of one person in one boardroom or in one government seat. It is our decision to make for the future, not one person's decision. I want to be proud with Minister Bell. I want to be proud with Premier Campbell. I want to be proud with whoever comes after them, because this is all our problem that has to be fixed. It's a crisis that requires all the efforts we have right now. Save our jobs and ancient trees!